All right, we we're in Perth. Successfully trashed my hotel room. Check out this. This is how light I travel these days. Oh, that's my underwear. You don't need to see that. Books everywhere. Oh my gosh. You want to see the view? Come with me. Come on, just come this way, please. All right. Oh, we can't see much, can we? That's Perth. Wow. All the lights, etc. All right, what's going on? Oh, look at this. This is I got this in the mail. I got the uh, Casm G T-shirt. I bet probably no one watching this knows who Casm G is, but whatever. I'm a fan. You should be a fan too. Okay, I'm going to show you something cool now. This is the teaser edition. Of the Black Ridge, which is another book I'm working on. And there it is. Hope. Bloody hope at a time like this. I'm almost disappointed to see it. Um, yeah, it's just four chapters of a book that I haven't written past that point yet. But it's um, going to be a possible campaign starting tomorrow, which is probably already passed by the time you see this video. But the Black Ridge Possible dot com. It's gonna go until the end of May, I think. Basically, a bit of material to promote the Possible campaign, which I think is a kind of neat idea. Hopefully, people will have a look. Here's the blurb. Ready? A man wakes to find himself trapped in a cave beneath the nest of a Black Ridge dragon. Narrowly, be, narrow, narrowly beyond the reach of its razor-sharp grasp. Escaping will not be easy, and harder still will be the trek home through treacherous wilderness that lies before him. The... Especially if the beast decides to go hunting. I think plot-wise, <clears throat> like the short story was... In the short, the original short story, all it was was these guys trying to catch this dragon and like chain it down. Uh, but the, the dragon's fighting back. And in the end of the story, the short story, it gets away. But it grabs one of the guys who's unconscious, he's all bleeding, you know, all messed up, and takes him, and it flies off. And that's the end of the short story, they're just kind of defeated. Uh, and in my head when I wrote it, like, that guy was dead. As good as dead, sort of thing. Um, and that was it. Then chapter two sort of came from like, oh, what if he wasn't dead? So it continues from there, this guy kind of wakes up at a dragon's nest, you know, miles and miles from home, has to first escape from this dragon's nest and then trek back home whilst being kind of stalked and hunted by a dragon. A little bit like The Grey. Have you seen that movie The Grey with Liam Neeson? Um, where he's getting kind of tracked by a pack of wolves through this, like, snowy mountainous kind of thing. But rather than wolves, it's a freaking dragon. That was weird. I apologise for that. Anyway, Perth. What am I talking about this for? I'm, going, I'm in Perth for Oz Comic Con 2014. It's the start of convention season, although I did go to Hobart for a convention last month, earlier in the month. But that was a little one. It's kind of like pre-convention season. A little taster, a little appetizer. But this uh, tomorrow should be pretty big. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm going to get my nerd on. Alright, nerds. See ya tomorrow. See you in the morning. Alright, I was Comic Con Perth. This looks good. Have a look. Yeah. We you set up. <laughs> Quick update, I'm back from Perth. In Melbourne again. Perth's done. Repacking my bags here. Getting all my stuff ready. 
because tomorrow it's straight off to uh, the Gold Coast Supernova. Oh. Road trip. 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 Great Australian on the road to Jundabilly. Is this the outback? I think this is the well, yeah, it's outside. Yeah, yeah, we're at Jaradilly, Narodunga, West Nuala, and Dub. See, which ones, which ones are we making up? Nobody, we don't even know. <laughs> we're now, Roger, where are we? What, where actually are we? Uh, I think it's uh, Chumbawumba. We're in Chumbawumba? Yeah. It's unseasonably hot in Chumbawumba. It's not like Chumbawumba at all. We've arrived in the Gold Coast. It's pretty naked. Look at this view. Look at it. Look at it. We're hungry. We're going to go get food. And then what are we going to do? Any suggestions? Not yet. Here's a question I've asked before on my vlog. And this is for you, Anton. Okay. Why do theatre restaurants exist? What the you're fuck? You're looking for a good time and you really like, say, for example, Dracula, and you want to eat dinner, you've got all the bases covered. It's a larger niche than you think. Really? Do people just go like, oh, it'll be a laugh? I don't know, someone went there the other week and they said it was really good, so it's in your face. Really? Yep. This is how us nerds wake up in the morning. <laughs> Boom, nailed it. Nailed it. Those fucking critters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that majestic. And he doesn't like fireworks, so he's shooting them. We're going to Supernova. That game's super over. I think I should have some coffee. <laughs> this is the least exciting vlog ever. I reckon you should maybe edit this one and maybe cut out some of the, the less interesting parts of the vlog. What do you mean? Nothing. Ah, cool. What, what's not interesting about this? I want to know about your um, spilled coffee, mate. This is blotting. <coughs> You've never blotting. seen blotting like this. Why blotting? This rem Never mind. This is like the fourth or fifth time I've said this whilst eating a cheeseburger this weekend, but this is the last cheeseburger I'm having this weekend. We have eaten a lot of these. It's not even the weekend yet. Pretty good though. So, <clears throat> Supernova's in about 15 minutes, I think. Uh, Andy slept through his alarm. We meant to leave probably about 45 minutes ago, so I want to wake him up and see how stoked he is that he's running late. He's over here. Just let me flip the camera around. Andy, come in. Andy. Oh, man. Convention dude, you're late. Andy, mm -hmm. we've got to go. We've got to go. All go. right, all right, all right. Yeah. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Come on, man. Yo! Yo! Yes, it's you, Super Suit! Bounty Father, the GCSC, and Lewis. Fucking Riz Kid. Keeping the gangsta all through the streets of Gold Coast. Going to it's a gangster convention, right? Yeah, gangster. Yeah, sure. Because I, I, I read the thing. Because I swear, I swear, I think it says like a pop culture. Can you tell? It says a like pop is in my like, boom pop. Bitch. That's yeah, because I yeah, because I thought this is for our gang. Gangster to get like to put a, get a foothold in the Gold Coast. There'll be motor bicycles. There'll be tattooed men. Yeah, see, um, weaponry, yeah, yeah. sort of weaponry. Cool man, like get gats, I suppose gats and blocks and yeah, shit like that. Yeah. So it's definitely this is a gang convention. It's not. Would I take you anywhere except the gang? Yeah. So it's not. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm here, man. So we're trying to get out. Get yeah. GCSC! Yeah, see, alright, cool. I can't wait to get in a fight tonight then. And yeah. At the convention, I mean. So, you pop some people. That's what you mean, right? Pop. Pop cool. culture. If, you're, if, if I find out that you've been lying to me about this, I won't, I won't be happy, to be honest. Yeah, no. So, what kind of knives? Will people have like, like blades and shit? Big ones. Yeah. Little ones. A pocket knife. Sharp ones, probably. Yeah. Sharp ones. Cool. Quite sharp. So we're talking like, like army blades? Serrated. Oh, maybe. You got a steak on your hands.
True. GCSE. Yeah, 2014, y'all. Busy. 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 Empty. Still empty. Also, have a little look in there. Do you have any readers in your family? I'm a reader, but I have a boy that I would really like to be a reader. Take it. You can give it to him. That's yeah? Cool. Yeah. Cool. Is it what? Violent and gory? Uh, it's a little bit violent, but not like it's teenage. It's teenage. Well, he's 15 and he spends a lot of time in bed. He's been sick for two years, so he could definitely do us yeah, a lot to read. Yeah, thank you. Do you want me to write a thing for him in there? Yeah. Let me write great. a thing in there. Giving away. <laughs> <laughs> Giving away books to <laughs> sick children. Someone's got crypto. <laughs> Things you learned today that it's actually Sundry and City. Andy's been selling my book for four conventions or some crap as Sundarian. It's always been Sundarian. Sundarian. Yeah, it's Sundarian. Yeah, it's Sundarian. Yeah, it's Sundarian. Yeah, it's Sundarian. And I was, um, it was only, wasn't, I can't even speak at that time. I decided to do a hashtag for the whole thing and just realised when I was reading it for the first time ever that it's Sundarian. <laughs> Sundarian? Sundarian, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Good. I, I never corrected you. Never creepy, like, creepy, small, yeah. scarecrow, and bruise it for the book. So, let's insert footage here. <laughs> That is awesome. Wait, we should, so we should get a photo of him. That wasn't even a kid. What's the plan now? Pack up this crap and then Pack what? Pack up and eat ramen. ramen. Get some awesome eat food. Eat ramen with this. What are we eating? I don't care. It's fucking anything. We're going to go to the go Asia, Asia area. Go on. The Asia area. What do I mean? Go on. Road tripping back down to Melbourne. It's all done. It's all over. Stopping for a break. Game over. Next up is Melbourne. We're just stopping in some truck stop. And I think we better keep moving because it looks like there might be some gangsters. Gangsters over here. Man down. Where you from? I'm in a lot of trouble. Where you from? Should you just roll on? Yeah, I've already got my cash as well. I'm giving the dude roosties in the car. Hey? We got money for getting two twisties in the toilet. You got it? Yeah. How so much should we make? Uh, $3.80. How many was that? Oh, just, just a quick 10 bloke job. <laughs> just a tenner. Profit. Think about it. 3 dollars with no money. That's 38 cents a piece. Yeah, I know. That's why they call me businessman. That's, that's, um, that's fantastic. It's going to clasp this. Oh, that's a good view for the... This isn't. Is this filming? This is vlog. Welcome to. Edit this. Camera. No, this is this is gold. This is what you arranging rearranging the camera. Yep, gold. All part of the journey. Welcome I can't to see anything. Rock and, it doesn't matter. I can't see. Rock what and you're roll. Doing. See you, Melbourne.
I've just left uh, Grong Grong out of Wollandulla. Uh, Heading along the Guang Glang River. Yeah, Millie Billy was back there. Kurondulan. Um, Next to Uncle Timmy's Broken Neck Creek. Dalangana. <laughs> Just came Ghana. out of Dalangana. Good times in the Ghana. Yep, crossing into uh, Billy Bunda. Shout out to Billy Bunda crew. Billy Bunda, yep. I'm currently eating the worst candy I've ever had. Uh, sure. Granolin. Oh, Granolin. No, sorry, Gran Granolunlun's coming Gran up. Granolunlun. Yep. We've been pretty much to all the towns. How are all the memories from Granolunlun? Oh, uh, Granolunlun. Birthplace uh, of Ned Kelly's. Horse, remember, the, remember the fish and chip shop at Girl Angelin? <laughs> Classic combo. Crazy. Eels. Eels up inside ya. Eels for days. Eels for days. Um, just heading into Kulungrungra. Kulungrungra? Kulungrungra, which is Aboriginal Sounds for... Sounds like Gatta. Elephants don't exist in this country. Cool. Oh, Glung Glung. Five k's out of, five k's out of Glung Glung. Mia Twimby. Mia Twimby. Mia yes. Twimby sounds like a uh, like a country rock artist. Introducing Mia, Mia Twimby. Mia Twimby with the Billboard hits. <laughs> Wendy Come Home. Oh, I hate Mia Twimby. She's a rubbish artist. She can't even sing. The piano oh. accordion playing is, is pretty sweet though. Harpsichord. Um, my favourite song. Baby's not coming home. Baby's not coming home. Yeah, there's that sense. Yeah, there's that sick piano accordion solo. Baby's not coming home this year. Right. Cause yeah. my daddy sent him to the ranch and my mama isn't wearing her pants and I'm not coming home this year for Christmas. I don't recall. Classic hit. Of, of the man. album, The Cars Around Here Go Moo. Oh, good. Classic hits, including such miraculous tunes as Billy's Chickens Got He's, a Fever. He says miraculous because, as you will know, Mia Twimby is the artist so, with no arms, yet she's a, a famous piano player. accordion and harpsichord. Harpsichord. Harpsichord and piano accordion player. Domain. So no. clearly she must be playing with her feet. That's what makes her songs miraculous. And who can forget that time on a classic? Jimmy fell down the well again, Mum. And Dad. Sing it to me. I can't, honestly can't remember how it goes. Can't Jimmy, I just know the solo. Jimmy fell down the well again, my mama. Huh? Uh, 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 fell down the well again one day. What was the album called again? Um, I can't remember what it was. Um, but I know you want to the classic songs. The Bunny of Snow and Pants again. Bunny of Stole my pants, baby. Yep. Baby, my barn, yep. Stole my pants again. Barn, you stole my pants again. Stole my pants again. Barn, you stole my motherfucking pants again. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, a good, that's a good one. Good song. It's a good song. All the way from Gundabur. <laughs> <laughs> and on the road to Gundabur, we find my bar. Whoa, whoa, I'm not 
Oh, oh eight flax. Oh, Anton. It's oh. not even now. I speak. Oh, it's not even now. I speak. Oh, eight flax. No, it's still. <laughs> Oh, it's me, Andrew. I hate the black people. <laughs> oh, I can't I believe like, I just Andrew. said that. Oh, what a thing This is so easy. Said. Probably going on the blog. Oh, uh, probably not. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty powerful car, isn't it? Um, about three, three thousand horsepower. Three thousand horsepower, I think. Yeah. Is it some horsepower or? Uh, it's pony power. Oh, it's on pony power. Yeah, okay. three thousand. Three thousand. Um, three thousand pt. No, what are those little ponies that you ride? Shetland uh, pony power. Shetland. 3,000 Shetland. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's uh, We should write a song about pony. The, 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 uh, shout out to all our friends riding horses and riding ponies and riding Shetland ponies and riding zebras and zorses. That's a zebra cross with a horse. Uh, I'm just a bachelor looking for a partner. Someone who knows how to ride without even falling off. Uh, gotta be compatible. Takes me to my limits, yeah. And girl, when I break you off, I promise that you won't wanna get off if you're horny. Let's do it, riding. My pony, my sad dues, it's waiting. So come on and um and jump on it. Hey, hey. We just entered Melbourne. Melbourne. Have you been to Melbourne? Melbourne. What other songs are you gonna to? Welcome to Melbourne City. Welcome to Melbourne FM. We're here with Anton and Andy, two people that have gone delirious from an 11-hour drive. <laughs> His accents keep changing all the time. You won't be able to catch up to their accents. They won't even stick to it for one sentence. Is it possible that we're dead and we're just Dreaming. this is a hallucination or we're in a coma somewhere? It's possible. Anything's possible with Anton and Andy. Yo, yeah. Tune in for more of this ridiculousness. Yes. Yes. So is your face. Oh. The weather's still said. shit. Still crap. Why, why'd she say something to your face? Is the same one that said that you're fat? She says a lot of things. She Don't listen to her. Yeah. It's mostly sexual in your nose. Euphemisms. In your nose. 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 I've been to your nose. I've been to Japan. Your nose. In your nose. In your nose. No, actually, no, it's mine. I'm part Japanese. My last name's actually. Your nose. Your nose. Your nose. Your nose. Let's go. They used to be called Eskimos, now they're called Indian Nose. Ah, sounds like you're being typical old racist Andy again. Oh, too bad that was you that said that. Too bad that I can pronounce my last name. <laughs> but no one even knows Tsutsutsuru. Lewis. Tsutsuru, hey. Yours is Japanese last name, racist. Tesoriorio. Tesoriorio. Oh, So God. what does um, Babidi-Bulpa actually mean in Italian? It means, what a fantastic pasta. <laughs> Thanks for the meal. Oh, anyway, supernova again this weekend. I'll be there, mate. Some bit, yep. I'll probably be there. And he'll definitely be there. I will be there. Pouring out my books to the general disinterested populace. 